And before we get to the vows and all that's going to happen today, I just want you to take a minute, take a deep breath, look over your shoulders. These are your people. They're here because they love you, and they're here to support you, and they're going to be by your side in the years to come. Now, it is my duty as the wedding officiant to remind you of something. Weddings are beautiful. Marriages take work. They're worth the work, but they take a lot of work. Now, Josh, I know that you love Sonny. How can you not love her today? She's a beautiful bride. And Sonny, I know you love Josh. He looks better today than he did yesterday when I saw him. All right, he's clean, he looks good. All right, I know you love each other today, but there'll be other days when that love will not be so easy. There'll be days when you won't even like each other. Just being honest with you. Because we're two humans trying to make something better together than we are apart. If you went out on the street and you asked people to tell you, to give you a real definition of love, you get a thousand different answers. But scripture says this, love is patient, love is kind. And if the two of you can be patient and kind with each other, you'll be well on your way to building a wonderful relationship. Now understanding that, still willing to take these vows? Last chance. Okay, turn and face each other. Josh, I'm gonna lead you in a series of questions to which you should reply with confidence. I do. Right. Josh, as you look at your beautiful bride, you promise to take Sonny to be your wife, to love her, to show her honor, to try to understand her and leaving all others to faithfully keep yourself for her only as long as you both shall live. That's three times, Sonny. He said, I do. So let the record say, he does. All right, Sonny, as you look at your handsome groom, you promise to take Josh to be your husband, to love him, to honor him, to try to understand him, and leaving all others to faithfully keep yourself for him as long as you both shall. Well done. Josh, I'm going to lead you in a series of repeat after me phrases. As you look at your bride, repeat after me. I, Josh, take you, Sonny. witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in good times and challenging times in sickness and in health when we're super rich and when we're not so rich as long as we both shall live very good Sonny would you repeat after me I Sonny take you Josh to be my husband For God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife in good times and challenging times, in sickness and in health, when we're super rich and when we're not so rich, as long as we both shall live. Well done. Now, would you pray with me? Dear God, you see Josh and you see Sonny, you've heard the promises they've made to each other. I do thank you that in a world that is so often so ugly, we get to stop for a few minutes and see something so beautiful. It's two people out of eight billion who found each other and fell in love. God, make them good lovers of each other. Make them even better forgivers of each other. And when we need a testimony of what true love really looks like, then we find it right here. We ask this in your name. Amen. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. Josh. You may kiss your bride. It's a little early, Josh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Britt.